Hey, good morning. Um, it's about 4.30, and I decided that today is the day I'm going to open up this can of beef. Um, I bought several of them at um, Ocean State Job Lot, and they were $2 each, and these are actually a pound and a half each. Um, but I'm going to use them to feed the cats today. It's very, very cold out. It's about 15, 20 degrees. Um, and I like to give them warm food, okay, about 7 a.m. when the sun comes up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain it. And I'm just going to separate the meat from the juice. Um, and then I'm going to heat it up. Now, if I was going to make this for myself in an emergency, um, I would probably saute onions, garlic, mushrooms if I had them. Um, and I would strain the beef and then add the beef to the um, onions and garlic, etc. Um, and kind of make like a stew out of it. But let's see what it looks like. Oh, and I keep my own chicken fat also. I render this and save it. Um, sometimes I'll use it for cooking or put a teaspoon into the cat's food. And um, they really like the sweet potato. I'm going to tell you that. I, I will mash up the peas and carrots and then I add brown rice to it. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here's what it looks like. So there's a big chunk of beef, and the fat is on the top, but that's okay. Um, I smelled it. It really smells good. I mean, it smells like beef. So I'm going to just strain it out. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I, I was thinking I was going to get a lot of liquid and not that much beef, but I am surprised... There's like, the can was pretty much filled with beef. There's little bits of fat. I did remove some of the fat. I put it separately. Um, here's what the liquid looks like. Okay. Um, it's clear. It really doesn't smell bad. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't smell bad at all. It smells like beef. It smells like roast beef or hamburger or whatever. So I'm going to heat it up. Let's see what happens. Okay. So just to show you, um, and I've probably shown you this before, but I, I mash up the peas and carrots. That was a half of a leftover sweet potato from yesterday. If I don't have sweet potatoes, I give them canned pumpkin, and it's just plain pumpkin. There's nothing else in it. Um, so I'm going to taste this beef because it's, it's on the stove. It's heating up. Um, and I think I'm going to make some chili with it. And I'm, I'm, I think this would make a wonderful chili or a wonderful stew if you um, added carrots and string beans or whatever, uh, made some mashed potatoes or something like that. But I am going to use two cans of beans, um, a can of my diced tomatoes with chili peppers, um, just brought this out because you could mix it with this too that could be a whole meal um but i'm going to add a package of chili um the other thing is if you have this bear creek you could add a can of this beef to that it would make a <clears throat> wonderful chili but i'm gonna i'm gonna do it this way i'll show you later but right now let's see 